Hi, and welcome to another digital book talk from Mass Nutton Regional Library. Today's book talk is focusing on biographies for our middle grade readers. I want to start with this book. It's Trevor Noah, Born a Crime, Stories from a South African Childhood by Trevor Noah. This is on the Virginia Reader's Choice list for middle school age students for the 2020-2021 school year. If you don't know Trevor Noah, he is the host of The Daily Show on Comedy Central. He grew up in South Africa with a black South African mother and a white European father at a time when it was against the law for a mixed race child to exist, but exist he did. And I just want to share with you a little bit from the book um, because I can't do it justice without just reading what he has written himself. So I'm going to start at the bottom of page 270. I asked Andrew what had happened to Abel. He didn't know. I was filled with rage, but there was nothing I could do. I felt completely impotent, but I had to do something. So I took out my phone and I called him. I called the man who had just shot my mom, and he actually picked up. Trevor, you killed my mom. Yes, I did. You killed my mom. Yes, and if I could find you, I would kill you as well. And then he hung up. It was chilling. It was terrifying. I don't know what I expected to happen. I was just enraged. And then skip ahead to the nurse coming in to speak to him. Sir, there's a problem. Your mother was speaking a bit at first. She stopped now. But from what we've gathered, she doesn't have health insurance. What? That can't be true. I know my mom has health insurance. She didn't, as it turned out. A few months prior, she had decided this health insurance is a scam. I never get sick, and I'm going to cancel it. And so now she had no health insurance. We can't treat your mother here, the nurse said. If she doesn't have insurance, we have to send her to a state hospital. State hospital? What? No, you can't. My mom's been shot in the head. You're going to put her back on a gurney, send her out in an ambulance? She'll die. You need to treat her right now. Sir, we can't. We need a form of payment. I am your form of payment. I'll pay. Yes, people say that, but without a guarantee. I pulled out my credit card. Here, I said, take this. I'll pay. I'll pay for everything. And then the nurse goes on to explain how the hospital can be expensive. These tests, you know, she might need many of them. It could cost you two, three thousand rand. This is my mother's life you're talking about. I'll pay. No, sir, you don't understand. Your mother has been shot in her brain. She'll be in ICU. One night in ICU could cost you 15, 20,000 rand. And they go on back and forth about costs. And eventually he gets to the point where Trevor says, my mother's greatest fear was that I would end up paying the black tax, that I would get trapped by the cycle of poverty and violence that came before me. She had always promised me that I would be the one to break that cycle. I would be the one to move forward and not back. And as I looked at that nurse outside the emergency room, I was petrified that the moment I handed her my credit card, the cycle would just continue and I'd get sucked right back in. People say all the time that they'll do anything for the people they love. But would you really? Would you do anything? Would you give everything? And that's the question. Would you give everything? Read the book to find out more about Trevor Noah and his life. Our second book today is Resist. 35 Profiles of Ordinary People Who Rose Up Against Tyranny and Injustice by Veronica Chambers. This book is also on the Virginia Reader's Choice List for middle school age students for this school year, 2020-2021. Um, before they were activists, they were just like you and me. This book starts with Joan of Arc back in 1492 and then moves on to other people and includes Sojourner Truth from 1850, Gandhi from 1906, and concludes with the Million Women of the Women's March 
in 2017. 35 profiles of remarkable figures shows us what it means to take a stand and say no to injustice. If reading the entire story of someone's life seems daunting to you, this is a place for you to start. Um, you learn bits and pieces about the lives of the people in this book, and I bet you find yourself hooked on at least one person who you didn't know before, but you want to know more about. And that will be the, the hook that gets you moving on to other biographies to learn more. I know that there were people in here that I had never heard of before, whose names I still can't pronounce, but I want to know more about, like the, the man from China who was writing visas for German, or Jewish citizens to get out of Germany um, in World War II, even though he had been told, don't do this, don't write anymore, don't process these. Even as he is in a car fleeing for his life, he is still writing those visas. That's someone I want to know more about. I hope you find someone in here you want to know more about too. Our last book today is Frenemies in the Family, Famous Brothers and Sisters Who Butted Heads and Had Each Other's Backs by Kathleen Krall. Siblings, one minute you can't live without them, and the next minute you don't want them breathing the same air as you. They blame you when they get in trouble. They seem like your parents' favorite. They are the only enemy that you cannot live without. Almost everyone has a juicy story about their siblings, even the famous people. So this book includes famous royal siblings, famous football playing siblings, tennis playing siblings, painters, inventors, entertainers, they're all in there. Um, for those of us lucky enough to have siblings, this book shows us that even the famous siblings endure the same ups and downs that the rest of us go through. I wanna point out that this particular book is not in the 921s. This one is found over in the 306 area. A lot of times when you ask for biographies, I'm gonna point you straight at the 921s, but there are more places to look. So there are other compilations of biographies like these two where that shows multiple characters, multiple people, and shorter stories like this where they're one to three pages, and we're gonna find those throughout the nonfiction section. So the next time you need help, please call, email, ask us. I'll be happy to point you to some other short biographies that can get you started on your way to learning more about famous people throughout all times in history. Thank you for watching and happy reading.